like, ah, oh, you guys, we got to go back. I forgot to show you the one I was going to not show you. <laughs> hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I think you're really gonna like this video because some of my bolos this um, for this video are just unexpected and just, they're fun, they're fun. The first one, I was like, I'm gonna hold it and, and I'm gonna show it towards the end because it's just so unexpected and you guys are gonna be like, wow, she's a bolo finder because I don't know if you would have picked it up. And if you did pick it up, I don't think you would have known that it would sell for so much. So I'm going to toot my own horn on that one because I'm super excited about it. Now, it was long tail. I had to wait a long time for this one to sell. I had to wait on the right buyer. But wait until you see it. Anyway, there's one. Oh my goodness. We'll talk about it when we get there. This is just fun. So these are my big money bolos that I sold on eBay. Items that I sold for $35 or more. Most of them are in the 50 to $200 range. All right. I think I have a $300 sale. Uh, just, I'm excited about this one. All right. Are you ready? They're like, yes, woman, quit talking. All right. So the first one I sold is this vintage grandmother's flower garden quilt. And you guys, this was a crafter's item. It had a lot of damage. It had issues. And I sold this it stains, tears, you name it. I sold it for $74 and 99 cents. Um, on auction. And I got that at a garage sale for uh, four or $5. I can't remember. The next item, this one I thought was going to be a home run. I got this in a thrift store mystery box. And honestly, I thought they were going to sell really quick because they are massive, huge hands. Like here's my hand next to it. They're huge and they light up. They're just really cool. And they took forever to sell. Um, I don't know if it was my keywords or what, but I ended up selling this for $64.99 plus shipping. So definitely worth the wait, but my goodness. Okay. You guys probably saw this video. I did a video on driftwood, um, driftwood that sells for big money. And I included this listing. I ended up taking a best offer of $70 on this. I got it at a church sale and it was kind of like bundle a bunch of stuff together and pay one price. So I don't know, a buck, maybe two. I, I don't really know because I just had a bunch of stuff in a pile and I just gave her money. I don't even remember what I gave her. But, um, you know, I pay I paid garage sale prices. So I sold this for uh, $70 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $95.14. And I just love it. I just think it's so cool. Um, and I actually, in the video, I did show you a close up of it. This one came from the Goodwill bins. And unfortunately, I had footage of this. and literally my heart was racing. I saw two of these sitting in the bin and I'm like, oh my goodness. I mean, I couldn't get to it quick enough. I was so afraid somebody was going to grab it. And my heart was racing, which that is very rare for me to get that excited about something. But you know, like your adrenaline's going because you're like, is somebody going to get it? And nobody got it. I got both of them. One had a mouse, one did not. And I lost all of my footage, all my Ben's footage from that day. So Unfortunately, I had tons of Ben's footage that I accidentally deleted. You've probably heard me say that before. This was part of it. But I ended up taking a best offer of $90 on this. It's a 1987 Avon countdown calendar. Now, these can go for over $100 easily. This one had a little bit of condition issues. And I'm like, you know what? I got it for a couple bucks. I'm just going to take the $90 and I'm going to run. So um, I still have, I think, two more listed in my store. This is a vintage Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, customizable card game from 1996. I got this in a mystery toy lot from Auctions for You. It's a YouTube channel. I have an unboxing of everything that I got out of that box if you guys want to check that out. But if you're looking for inventory, definitely check out Auctions for You and Donatella Bottolino. I will link them down below. Adidas Gazelle suede sneakers. You guys, you got to be proud of me. I picked up sneakers, shoes. I'm not a big shoes person. These had the TJ Maxx tag on them. I got them at a garage sale. I paid five bucks for them. I just like the color. They were new, new old stock, no box. Paid um, five bucks, sold them for $48.75 plus shipping, and they sold really quickly. 
This is a vintage wood box uh, per strawberry print. It's decoupage. I think that's how you say it. It's hinged. It is fantastic. I just love it. It's got some crazing. I got this at a thrift store for $1.50 and I sold this for a best offer of $50 plus shipping. It did take a little while to sell. All right. So I did a mystery box, thrift store mystery box unboxing over on my, re uh, I'm sorry, my sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. And I'm unboxing this box and I pulled this little bear out and I'm like, I don't know. I just feel like it's special. I just, I just had a good feeling about it. And I left it in the box for quite a while. And then I went back to it and I'm like, I used Google Lens and I figured out what it was. And I've got a video down in the description of how it works. The head moves up and down and side to side. And it really is fantastic. It's mohair. It has glass eyes. And I can't remember what I paid for the mystery box. It's in the video. They were having like a, a sale because it was like Christmas in July. So they're Christmas mystery boxes were 75% off. So I don't have much in this at all, maybe a buck. And I sold this guy for $240 plus shipping. Oh, I was so excited. So unexpected, so excited. I mean, I had a good feeling about it, but I really had no idea. It was just a hunch. The next item is this vintage lawn wear hanging patio RV camping swag lamp. I ended up taking a best offer of $50 on this one. And I do have another one listed. And then I also have two that are kind of like a teal blue. But these are really, I just, I think they're super cool. I got them for, I think, $5 each at a garage sale. So I have three more available. The next one are these matchbooks. And I paid, I want to say $5 for all of these at a garage sale. And I did a video where um, I showed everything that you would get and I just posted it down in the description like that. So the person wasn't blindly buying this. I always worry about that with lots. Um, so I just put the video there. So it was all there if they wanted to watch it. I ended up taking a best offer of $80 on these plus shipping. So again, this is for maybe for a reseller, somebody who actually wants to part these items out and sell them individually. I know there are people that do it. A lot of them are just major bread and butter. It's time consuming and I didn't want to mess with it. This one right here, I got at a garage sale for five bucks. It's Disney Store Moana Kakamora plush set of coconuts. They're the coconut pirates from that movie. It's a Disney movie and these are Disney Store. So anything Disney Store ten has a tendency to do better. Uh, sold these for $42.25 plus shipping. The next item is this Amscan Ron Lewis Halloween decoration mummy die cut jointed. And it's, um, you can move it. It's articulated. So you can put it in different poses. And I just kind of showed that in the listing. Here is what it says on it. Um, so the person bought this one and this one, and they paid a total of uh, $84 for both of them. And they paid the shipping and I got those at a garage sale for $1.50. These are plume nylons. They are seamless pantyhose. They are very, very vintage and they are new old stock in the original packaging. Just a fantastic find. I got these at an estate sale clean out. I sold two of them for $104, but um, they ended up getting discounted shipping. And when you add to your cart in my eBay store, sometimes it adds discounts depending on the item. So they were all in for $98.60 for these two pair. This one you may have seen in the This Is My Bolo video. I sold this puzzle for $300. It is a vintage Springbok jigsaw puzzle, the Christmas house, a thousand pieces, new old stock, but it is the seal is ripped. Um, the person left me positive feedback, said it's something from their childhood, and they are just so happy to have this. I believe it's from the 1970s. Um, yeah, $300, and it sold in like a week. Maybe it was less than a week. It was crazy. Richard Simmons collection of the Masters Rose baby doll basket and accessories. I picked this up at a garage sale. I paid $4 for it. It is just super, super cute. Um, sold it for $71.51 plus shipping. And that was the best offer. This right here is a Bucilla felt applique Christmas stocking. So a lot of times the cross stitch kits do really well, but this is a felt stock, um, a felt stocking. So it's still a crafter's item, a crafting kit. But anytime you can find the stockings, they can do really well. This one I got at a thrift store for three bucks and I sold it for $74.75 plus shipping. 
This is the Sorbet Jungle Soul, Soul Rim Blue Ram plush with the original tag. I got this at a thrift store for a dollar and I sold this for $48.75 plus shipping. This here I pulled out of the Goodwill bins. I just thought it was interesting. It's a vintage Sterner Imports piano and player MCM nail iron nail art sculpture with a wood base. It's got the information right there. I used Google Lens. I sold this for $42 best offer. The buyer was all in for $55.86. It was a little bit heavier, so I probably had about $3 in that. This last one here, I got these at a garage sale. I want to say about five bucks for uh, maybe all of them. Uh, this person ended up buying two of them. So they are a vintage Christmas card and it's framed and it's really, really cool. But they bought this one and this one. I just love this. And um, they bought the two of them and they paid $105.48. That was with shipping and tax um, because they did add to their cart and got those discounts and the discounted shipping, which is $5. So what do you guys think? I just feel like there were some really fun bolos in that video. And I, like, ah! oh, you guys, we got to go back. I forgot to show you the one I was going to not show you. <laughs> I was going to show you at the end. Ah, okay. Here it is. Are you ready? All right. It is a world of wonder talking mother goose and Hector animation cord connector. You guys, this is the cord that connects the two plush talking animals. I sold this for $74, best offer plus shipping, and it took a long time to sell, but I sold it for crazy good money. So super excited about that one. I hope you hung around and got to see that because you're probably all like, I'm starting to do my closing. And you're probably like, she didn't show us that bolo. What's she doing? All right, you guys, leave me an emoji, any kind of emoji down in the comments and tell me how you found the channel. Thanks for watching.